Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing something a little different. Um, I'm going to be trying to do my first chit chat, get ready with me. I don't really know how well this is going to go. This is the first time I'm ever going to be doing a video like this. So we're going to try our best. I'm going to try not to be rambling. I really don't even know what I'm going to be talking about. I'm just going to be getting ready because me and Josh are going to be doing something for Valentine's Day tonight. I don't really know what we're doing, but I'm going to get ready for it because, I mean, it's Valentine's Day. I have to look kind of decent, right? So I'm just going to be talking through, I'm going to be telling you what I'm doing, but I'm not going to be like going super in depth about what I'm doing. I'm going to be kind of talking to you guys while I'm doing this. So I'm going to try not to ramble. I'm going to try to have it make sense, but I kind of do ramble. I know I do that. I have no idea what I'm going to do for a look. I think I'm going to do kind of something more a little bit on the natural side. I don't know. I don't feel like getting super glam today. I know it's kind of weird, but I don't feel like getting super glam, so I'm just going to do something a little natural. In my opinion, I really love like natural glam. I don't love like super heavy eye makeup. I don't know. It's just my personal opinion. Like I really love a natural glam because it just is so flattering and it doesn't make you look like you're wearing a ton of makeup but it still makes you look super beautiful. I need to go wet this. So I'm gonna be right back and then we'll get started. Okay, so I don't know if I already said this but it is Valentine's Day so I'm gonna be getting ready to do like do something with my boyfriend. I don't know what we're doing. We're honestly probably just going out to eat and then just hanging out with what we like to do. It's just kind of be with each other. I'm just taking the Tatcha Water Cream Moisturizer and I'm moisturizing my face a little bit. My skin has been so dry lately that I feel like this is a very important step. So yeah, I don't really know what we're going to be doing. Probably going out to eat somewhere, maybe, hopefully, because I'm starving. I haven't eaten anything yet today. Oh yeah, and I'm so excited because I just bought the Anastasia Beverly Hills new Soft Glam Palette, and I bought the Amrezy Highlighter. Oh my god, I'm so excited, you guys. I cannot wait. Like, I hate waiting. I'm so impatient. I cannot wait for shit to get here. Like, if I order it and I buy it, like, I want it at my doorstep, like five minutes after it's done like I hate waiting I cannot wait so I had to wait like three days probably to get that which is gonna irritate me but yeah, I'm just gonna have to get over it I guess so going in with the Smashbox photo finish primer I broke my nail because these are so outgrown like oh I need to get them fixed probably do that before if I can get in probably not be able to get in today because it's Valentine's Day but anyways what was I talking about oh yeah so I'm so excited to be getting that palette. Like, Anastasia is one, like, if not my favorite brand. Like, they are just, I think they're so professional in everything they do. Their quality of their products just, like, blows me away every single time I try it. Like, I love, love, love their products. I remember back when I worked at Ulta, I bought my first Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. Um, it is the Master Mario palette, and mine is super beat up. Like, it is not cute, but I love this palette. It is honestly one of my favorite, like, all-time favorite palettes. And I remember the first time I used one of these shadows, like, I did a look with this, and I'm like, oh my god, this is, like, literally my favorite eyeshadow palette that I've ever tried in my entire life. And I was just kind of getting into makeup, so... I didn't really know a ton, but still, like, even to this day, this palette is one of my favorites. Just because the quality of the shadows and, like, the quality in the packaging and everything is so nice. So, yeah, I'm super excited for that to come. I cannot wait, and I'm, like, even more excited for that Amrisi highlighter. <sighs> I have been seeing so many people like posting about it and I'm like I need it right now like I cannot wait and I was freaking out because I went on their Instagram page and I saw that it was like available and I went onto their website and I couldn't find it and I was like oh shit it's already sold out Fuck, I'm so pissed like I missed it now I'm gonna have to wait if it even restocks like I didn't know if it was like a limited edition thing or not so yeah I was freaking out I was having a minor freak out this morning but it's all good we got it it's being shipped well hopefully it's being shipped i don't know probably be a few days but what's next okay so for foundation i'm going to be using the pro glow infallible l'oreal foundation 24 hour give it a little shake and i'm gonna put this on the back of my hand like so and take it in start punting it into my skin this is probably a little dark for me I don't know why. This is the shit I always get. But this looks like super freaking orange on me. What the heck? <clears throat> Alright, L'Oreal, you changing up your colors on me? 
whatever, I guess we'll just have to make it work. So, what should we talk about? I don't really know. Oh, speaking of Ulta, I get like a few people that ask me why I quit there. There's a lot of reasons. And I feel like... I don't know. I feel, I feel like maybe I should just talk about all of them, you know, maybe that's what I'll talk about in this video, but... When I first started working there, I really actually enjoyed it. Like, I loved being there. I loved the people there. And then shit started getting really like annoying and I I hated being there like literally dreaded my shifts like I can't even tell you how many times I called in sick and I wasn't actually sick just because I literally did not want to go like that I know that's horrible but that's the truth like I hated 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 being there so I guess the first thing that really really started like pissing me off is at the time that I worked there I had two jobs and I had said that in my interview I said you know I have to, another job like if that's gonna be a problem that's fine like let me know and she's like no no it's fine like you can work here just give me um fill out like a what are those things called like availability sheet and I'm like okay so I did and I filled it out and I told her like all the days that I can work here and all the days that I already work at my other job and yeah and like my other job they're like totally cool with it they're like okay yeah we'll just schedule you all these days so I'm like, all right, this is going to work out perfect. Literally the first schedule I get is I'm scheduled on the day that I already have to work on my other job, like three of the days. And I'm like, um, okay. I'm like, okay, maybe they just forgot. So I said something to her and she's like, oh, okay. Just fill out another availability sheet for me and I will give it to the, like, the, I can't think of the word. Like, the official manager. What is that called? Whatever. Like, the head manager. The store manager. That's what it is. Okay. So, I had to fill out another availability and give it to her. And I need to make sure this is, like, looking even. Okay. So, I gave her my an another availability and I said, all right, these are the days I can work. Literally the same thing as I did before. Gave it to her. So, I think she got that next schedule. I think she got it right. And I was like, all right, that's good. The next schedule, she schedules me on the same days that I already told her I cannot work because I work at my other job. I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? So I had to go through and like tell her I can't work on these days, figure it out, like go to my other job, say I can't work because I already work on this or on my other job and I had to find people to work for me and people were just getting like really irritated and I'm so like grateful that my manager at my other job was like super understanding and she was like good about working around it because it was so frustrating and it's not something that she should have even had to deal with but she had to because the other manager couldn't get my freaking schedule it's not that hard like it's really not that hard I literally only could work three days a week I think I worked like Wednesday Thursday and Sunday like those are the days that I said I could work because they either needed me to work a Friday night or a Sunday morning and I'm like well I don't want to work Friday night because who wants to work a Friday night so I'm like I'll work a Sunday morning and plus they had the delivery truck came on Friday night so you had to stay there till midnight to unload it and I'm like hell no I'm not doing that so Sunday morning it was I had to open like every Sunday morning which is like whatever but sucked but it, it is what it is so yeah I'm not kidding you I probably had to give her my availability like four times she still screwed it up like she still always screwed it up and then she, it literally got to the point where she scheduled me once a week like I have three days I can work schedule me on those three days she scheduled me like one of the days and it literally wasn't even the day that I told her I could work there like I was getting to the point where I'm like you know what this is getting super freaking annoying like I don't want to have to deal with this anymore so I mean that's one thing like I, I don't I don't understand how you can't get a schedule right even though I've gave, given you my availability four times like if you can't do that then you shouldn't be the manager I I don't get it what's another thing that really pissed me off I feel like I should be writing this down quick because otherwise this video is gonna be like so rambly and I'm gonna try to avoid that okay I've been letting my foundation out for like 10 minutes now so I should probably move on to the next step or this video is gonna be like 800 years long Okay, so let's go in some con Oh my god, what am I saying? Let's go in with some concealer. Alright, I guess we're gonna be using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer because it's the only one I can find right now. Oh well, yeah, and then one time, I was literally like scheduled to work on a day. Like I was scheduled to work on a, 
a Monday and I can't work on Mondays. Like I already told her, I'm like, can't work on Mondays. Don't schedule me on Mondays. She schedules me on a Monday, which I can't work on them. I'm like, okay, whatever. I call on a Tuesday night because I'm not going to drive all the way out to the mall. Like I live like 25 minutes away in the mall, so I'm not going to drive out there just to post a schedule, which they only post a schedule a week in advance, which is, I'm like, that's so stupid. Like any other job I've ever been to they always give you like two weeks on the schedule so you can like plan your shit out and you know when you have to work whatever that's one thing that really annoyed me and then anyways so I called in and I'm like hey do I work like when do I work Wednesday and Thursday or when do I work next basically she's like oh you don't work any other days it looks like you only worked yesterday and I'm like yesterday I didn't like I'm not supposed to work on Mondays I can't work on Mondays and then she's like, oh, well, you were supposed to work, like, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, well, okay, why did no one call me and tell me that I was supposed to work? Like, literally, no call, no text, nothing. I didn't get a single peep from anyone, like, that I was supposed to work that day. I'm like, um, what? Like, any other job that I've been to, or any other job, would be like, hey, where are you? Are you, are you alive? Like, are you coming into work today? Did you die on the way here? Like... What's going on? No, nothing. I'm like, well, that's weird. And she didn't schedule me on the right day. Like, see what I'm talking about? Like, this is why I get so stressed out. Because it's not that hard to fucking schedule me on the days that I tell you to schedule me. And it's like, oh, I would get so annoyed. And the managers, like, I really liked most of the managers. But there was one manager. Oh, my God. She was such a bitch. Such a bitch. I hope she's not watching this video, but so rude just literally like would the things that she said she I don't even know she was so degrading like instead of telling you you did something wrong she'd be like that's stupid why would you do it that way that's so dumb I can't believe you did it that way like why are you doing it that way like if I'm doing something wrong like that's fine tell me but you don't have to be mean about it like sorry I don't do everything the way you do it like she's one of those people that if you don't do something like exactly how she would do it it's not right and it's like how could you even think of doing it that way like excuse me is there only one way to do everything no like I have my own way of doing things stupid rewards program like okay it's not stupid like I really actually like the rewards like I think it's a great idea like you spend a dollar or whatever you spend Every dollar you spend, you get a point, and then once you reach 100 points, you get $3 off your purchase. You know, like, I had to memorize that, but she would, like, be on my ass about getting people to sign up. Like, you're supposed to get everyone to sign up, so you come up to the register, you say, what's your phone number so I can add your points, or do you have a rewards card with us, or blah, blah, blah. So I would, like, ask for that, and people would be like, no thanks. No, I don't want to give you my phone number, and I'm like, okay, whatever, that's fine. I'm not going to sit here and argue with you. Like, if you don't want to, you don't have to. And she would come up to me, and she'd be like, your loyalty's at 50%. You need to get everyone to sign up, and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, bitch, I'm not going to sit here and argue with someone. Like, if they don't want to sign up, I'm not going to make them. And she would literally, like, hide behind, like an aisle like so we had the register up in the front like right up at the front of the store and she would hide behind the first aisle and listen to me every time I would have someone come up to me and, and they would and if I didn't get them she'd be like why didn't you get that person to sign up and I'm like well because they didn't want to and I'm not gonna like force them to be like give me your information like I'm sorry but no I'm not gonna sit here and argue with someone if they don't want to give me their phone number and they don't want to do the loyalty program then their fucking loss I guess I don't know but she would literally be like well you need to just trick them and then she'd have me train with this other girl like okay this is a scenario where she doesn't want to give you her phone number and you need to get it out of her and I'm like this is the stupidest thing I've ever done in my entire life like I'm not gonna sit here and pretend to argue with someone just so I can get their information like are you kidding me I don't know that just really pissed me off. I don't know. But yeah, she would always nag at me like, you need to get your loyalty up. Your loyalty is not good. I'm like, ooh, don't care. Which I know that's a bad attitude, but it's like, come on. Like, it's so stupid. Like, I'm not going to sit here and argue with someone just to get information when there's people in line. Like, if they don't want to give it to me, I'm not going to make them. That's such a stupid thing. Like, if they want to do it, then let them, like, tell them about it. Like, 
I don't care if I have to tell everyone about it, like, this is how it works, blah, blah, blah. But if they say no thanks, I'm going to be like, okay, let's move on. Like, I'm not going to sit here and tell you you have to do it. I'm going to go in to do my eyes really quick. Oh, actually, I'm going to do my brows first. Finally going to do my brows for you guys. Okay, so another reason, I mean, the reasons just keep coming. Okay, so another reason that I quit there is because... I need a mirror for this because this is not happening otherwise. It's because the customers, they're so rude. Oh my god. Like, if you shop at Ulta and you literally think you're, like, entitled to everything because you're spending a lot of money on makeup, like, you need to get a grip with your life because I don't owe you anything and you need to, you don't need to be so fucking rude to me. Like, I'm not kidding you. Oh my god, I have to tell you this one story. There's these two times. I literally almost burst out fucking laughing at the register. We had um, a sale on these Sebastian shampoos and it was two for $20. Okay? I don't know. I guess that was on sale. So two for $20. It literally said two for 20 in those little like stickers that it has. And it was... So when you're putting those stickers up, you can't put them in like the middle of the whatever. You have to like put them off to the side. So there's like rows of everything that goes like up. Like all the products are in rows and there's like columns. You have to put it off to the side. You can't put it like right under the product. But it said two for 20 shampoo or conditioner. That's what it said. In big ass letters. Like it wasn't like fine print. It was like two for 20 large shampoo and conditioner. Right under it big like large like you would you can't miss it so this girl comes up to me and she brings two of those Sebastian hairsprays which I buy that hairspray so I know it's $20 each I ring her up and I say okay your total is like 40 whatever she goes no it's two for 20 and I'm like well if it was two for 20 like it would be popping up in my uh little checkout thing like I would be able to see it and it would say like two for 20 and your price would be $20 wouldn't it but I'm like okay it's not popping up. I'll go to the back and check. So I go grab the sheet. Like, I bring it out to her, and I'm like, it's two for 20 for shampoo and conditioner, not hairsprays. And she goes, well, it shouldn't be under the hairspray then. And I'm like, well, I'm sorry. We have to put it off to the side because that's how we have to do it. I don't make the rules here. And she's like, well, some people are in a hurry, and they don't have time to read. And I'm like, it's literally, first of all, it's large as hell. Like, there's no way you can miss it. It takes, what, two extra seconds to look and see what it is. And second of all, like, if you're buying something on sale, most of the time there is, like, a catch. Like, you have to read the fine print, which you should be doing. It's huge. It's not like they're trying to trick you and put it in the fine print. Like, it's literally as big as the two for 20. And you're going to get mad at me. And she's like, well, I don't want any of them. And storms out. I'm like, okay, I don't fucking care. Like... Jesus, people, like, sorry you didn't get your freaking hairspray, but it's not like, I'm not just gonna give you two for 20 just because you don't have time to read. Oh my god, okay, and then another, this girl, like, le oh my god, I literally was like, is this really happening to me right now? So, I'm at the checkout, I need this beard, I'm sorry, and she comes up to me and she's like, uh, this girl recommended me this product and it made my skin break out. And I have to go on vacation in a couple days and I am so pissed. And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, honey. Let me, let me just take care of that acne for you. Let me just get you a product that's going to clear that right up. Like, hello. My skin breaks out all the time from products. Like, it, it just happens. Not everyone's skin is the same. Like, do you want to cry about it together? Like, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. I literally just sat there and I'm like, okay, what do you want me to do about it? Like, she just got super pissed that the product that she got recommended was, uh, didn't work for her skin and it made her break out and she has to go on vacation. I'm like, yeah, that sucks. Like, I'm sorry, but that's, that's, that happens. And sometimes, like, you have to try a product a couple times before your skin gets used to it. Like, it's just how shit goes. I don't know what you want me to do about it. Like, she got all pissed at me, wanted to return it, wanted to, like, find the person who sold it to her. I'm like, no, like, no, that's not how it works. You can't do that. Like, I'm sorry. Oh, and, okay. Okay, I need to start doing my brows, but I'll talk while I'm doing them. So, there's this girl that works there. And she would literally, like, drive me nuts because, where did that go? Oh, right here. So, she's one of those girls, like, when you work in the store, you're, like, supposed to try to sell as many products as you can. Like, obviously, your goal is to sell the products. Whatever. 
Oh yeah, and they would literally take me off the floor, like, if enough products weren't sold, they'd be like, okay, you're going somewhere, like, you're gonna stock the shelves so, like, the people can actually sell the products. I'm like, really? 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 Like, that's how pathetic you are? Okay. So, she would be one of those girls that, like, you'd come up to her and you'd be like, hey, I really heard, I heard good things about this product, I just want to know if you've ever tried it. Oh yes, I love it. I can't live without that product. I use that product every single day. It is my favorite product. You're gonna love it. Blah, blah, blah. Like, she would do this about every single freaking product. Okay, so she would do that about every single product. And I'm like, girl, like, there's no way that you know everything about these products. There's no way that you've tried every single one of these products. But she was just that girl that had to be like, I'm gonna make the sale. I'm gonna tell them that I love it, so they buy it. But it's like, a lot of times people, if they don't like it, they're gonna return it anyways. Like, I don't know. People ask, came up to me and asked me if I liked this product or I tried this product or they asked me to like tell them a good product. I'd be honest with them and I'd say, yeah, I've never tried that product. Sorry, can't tell you. I can direct you over to like the hair salon because a lot of times I don't really know and like shit about hair. Like clearly mine's a hot mess every day. I'd be like, oh, I can take you over. Like, I remember being over by the hairsprays, and this girl's like, I need more volume. I don't know what hairspray to use. And I'm like, oh, let me take you over to, like, the hair salon, because I know. And, oh, here comes the girl that knows everything about everything. And she's like, oh, I love that hairspray. Like, you need this one in your life. You need it. It will change your life. Like, buy it. Buy it right now. Like, I recommend it to you. And I'm like bitch okay just swoop right in like I didn't think come and ask you but I guess whatever just do what you need to do like you really have to be that fake why are you like false recommending people shit like if they don't like it they're gonna return it so it's like what's the point of making them buy it and then have to come back and return it like let's give them some good advice like let's give them products that we actually like and know and we use like I'm sure there's someone in that store that has tried this product but don't come up to her and pretend that you have tried it and you like it just so she buys it so my camera just shut off sorry about that but I finished this brow this is my spoolie just gonna use a spoolie on the brow whiz and kind of give it a little brushing so it looks a little more natural I guess I don't know I'll clean it up later but for right now, that's it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. One time, this girl came in and like, she was asking about eyelid or eyeshadow primer. She was talking to me and I, I'm technically not supposed to be on the floor, but I was because I was just like so sick of being on the register. She asked, oh yeah, she came up to me when I was at the register and she's like, hey, I really need help finding an eyeshadow primer and everyone else is busy, can you help me? And I'm like, yeah, of course. So I went over by all the eyeshadow primer product, like, to her about them, like, what they do, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, oh, well, what one do you use? And I was like, well, honestly, like, I think eyeshadow primers are kind of, like, a gimmick. I don't know. I just use concealer. Like, I think it works the best for me. It's what I've always used. I like it the best. And she's like, oh, you just use concealer. And I'm like, yeah. I, th I used it. I set it with a translucent powder, and it works great. She goes, okay, well, maybe I'll just do that. And I'm like, all right, that sounds great. Glad I could help you. I got yelled at for that. I got yelled at for not making a sale. I'm like, really? Like, I'm helping her. Like, isn't that what the whole point of the store is? Literally, that was the point where I'm like, what is the point of working at this store? Lying to the customer. It was like, basically, all we're trying to do is, like, make them buy shit. <clears throat> okay, I'm taking some Urban Decay. Oh, by the way, I don't know if I told you, but I'm using the Anastasia Prowmade. Prowmade. Brow Pomade in the color soft brown to do my brows and now I'm just gonna clean them up with some concealer you guys I'm sorry if this video is like 20 minutes long and I really I still shop at Ulta I don't shop at the one that I used to work at anymore for obvious reasons I still like I still shop there I use the points all the freaking time like I take advantage of that shit because it's a good deal you should all too if you don't okay I'm just gonna take a Morphe M504 and a little bit of the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and just set my concealer on my lids. I don't really know if I have anything else to talk about for Ulta. I mean, I'm sure something will just pop into my head. Ooh, I just got my confirmation email from my Anastasia Beverly Hills. So freaking excited to get this. Like, you have no idea. I've never been this excited for um, something to come in the mail. And now I have to wait like a week. I just, well, I didn't just get it. I got it like a week ago, but, um... I've been wanting this palette for so long now, and I finally got it. It's a Kylie Peach palette. 
Okay, so this is what it looks like on the inside. So beautiful, so gorgeous. I really want to use like those reds and oranges and peaches, so I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this brush right here, put some translucent setting powder on it, and give myself a little bit of a like fake tape one, just so I have a nice angled look. And the amount of people that steal from Ulta, like, it's unreal. Like, if you steal, you are trash. You should not be stealing. If you can't buy something, if you can't afford something, don't go shopping. Do not steal. I'm sorry, but there is so much stealing that went on there. Everyone decides to come home when I'm filming a video, so if you hear people talking, that's my family. So, looks first, I'm gonna be going in with the color Sorbert over here, like this orangey, like, sherbet. It kind of looks like sherbet. Taking that on my Morphe R37 and just dusting this all over my lid. You guys, I really want to get on Anastasia's PR list. Like, that is one of my biggest goals right now. Like, I want to get on there before summer. That's like a goal of mine. And Morphe. I really love, like, if I have to pick, like, two brands that are, like, rock solid, my favorite, all-time favorite brands, it would have to be Morphe and Anastasia. They're, like, everything about their products, they're so nice. They're just Everything about them I love. Like the packaging is always so beautiful. I love Morphe's new packaging. I think it is so chic, so sleek. Like it's just so beautiful. And yeah, that's, I hope I didn't just jinx myself by telling you that, but I could get on any two PR lists, that would be it. Like I would be okay with just them too. And ColourPop, I really like ColourPop. I think their products for being so affordable are like, they blow me away. Every time I try something of ColourPop, it just blows me away. Like my jaw literally hits the floor. I cannot tell you how excited I am to get my Anastasia package though. I know I keep talking about it. You're probably like, bitch, shut up. But I'm like, it needs to be here right now. Or I'll, I'll drive there and get it myself. Like, I don't care. <laughs> but next, I'm going to be going in with um, cinnamon. Oh god. Okay, this is backwards. So let me think. I'm going to go in with cinnamon right here. And we're just really dusting that over. Oh my god. What are they doing out there? Like gymnastics? Okay, so dusting that all over again. These colors are blending out so nicely. They're so beautiful. They're very pigmented. Wow. Really nice. Um... Duke, where it's like this, the Morphe M321, it's like a pencil brush, going in with the color Duke and working it on my upper lash line. Thought it would be more of like a red. It's a little bit more of an orange. I think I'm going to jump into another palette really quick because I want a little bit more red in this look. That's kind of what I was going for, is like a little bit more of like a, like a terracotta red color. So I think I'm going to jump into my Jaclyn Hill palette, which has a mask by the way, so bear with me. This is what she looks like right now. <laughs> I tried to clean it and honestly it made it worse. But I think I'm going to go in with the color, this color right here and this color right here. It's like the orangish reddish colors. So I'm going to be taking that on um, uh, Morphe E18. Okay, so when I was editing this video, I realized that for some reason the microphone on my camera just stopped working. And I didn't realize it until right now, so the rest of the video is mute. So I'm just gonna do the rest in a voiceover. I mean, I'm probably gonna cut a lot of the video out just because this video is already 30 minutes long because clearly I can't do my makeup and talk at the same time, so it's something that I really need to work on. But yeah, I'm probably just gonna cut to the outro. I mean, I just added a lot more reds and then I... Did some contour and highlight, which you guys already know how to do. So this video is basically just like a chit-chat, get ready with me. But I talk way too much, clearly, so that kind of didn't work out very well. But I used the ColourPop Lippy in the shade Title. I do remember that. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I will see if my outro works. And if not, I'm sorry. This video is going to end right here. But I love you guys, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. I hope you enjoyed this chit-chat, get ready with me. And if you did then please subscribe and like this video and I will try to do better next time. Love you. Bye.